We're comparing PyPy and CPython on speed, memory usage, compatibility, and concurrency, which is what they mentioned on their website. Let's talk about memory usage. PyPy consumes less memory when running memory-hungry programs because it uses different garbage collection techniques. We have this code. It'll measure the memory taken to store this large list. We'll run it using both CPython and PyPy. Wait, let me show which versions we're using. Um, we have Python 3.13 here, and we have... Wait a second. Yeah, here it is. It's the latest version of PyPy available. We're running it using CPython first, and we got this. It took 382 megabytes of memory. Now it's PyPy's turn. Let me switch to it first. We're running it using PyPy, and here's the result. It took only 77 megabytes, which is much less than CPython. So, PyPy wins. Next up, we have two files to check concurrency. PyPy comes with a stackless library, so coroutines are created using it, but in this file, we used async.io. First, let's test this code. It took three seconds to complete 100,000 tasks concurrently. Now let me test this code. For that, I'm switching to PyPy. We're running this file and it took 17 seconds. It's a lot, but to be fair, we'll run this file too. It took 3.1 seconds, which is still, with a small margin, slower than CPython. So I guess CPython is the winner here. Next up, we have this requirements file containing library names. PyPy can run these libraries seamlessly. If I activate the PyPy environment and run this command, we can see that NumPy and Django installed successfully, but sklearn failed, and I guess twisted too. Before making this video, I tried everything and took help from Web and ChatGPT, but didn't find any solution to install sklearn. You guys can try, and if you succeed, then let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, we can declare it a tie. PyPy is 4.4 times faster than Python 3.7 but we have Python 3.13 here. Let's test it. We have three files. In this file, we are calculating factorial. Here we are finding prime numbers up to certain number, and here finding the Fibonacci number of these numbers in this list. We have this benchmark file to calculate the time taken by each process for a thousand iterations. First, we're running it using CPython, and here's the result. Fibonacci and prime performed decently, but factorial took almost one minute. Now let's test it using PyPy. We're running the same file, and here's the result. Fibonacci and Prime are much faster, but Factorial took almost double the time from CPython. I don't know what to conclude here. I leave it to you guys. What's your opinion on PyPy being a drop-in replacement for CPython? And that's it. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Python goodness.